mask. Got that, got that. What I should be doing is I should be out delivering firewood and wood chip for a pony paddock. That's what I should be doing. What I'm actually doing is driving over to Dursley to pick up my brother-in-law so I can take him to Barclay so a nurse can stick a needle in him for his COVID booster and then take him back to Dursley and then back home. So not not doing firewood and wood chip. This is the firewood bag and wood chip I was supposed to do yesterday and never got a chance to do it. I have some very patient customers. I'm very lucky. So in case I haven't already told you, it's Wednesday, 14th, no, 15th, 15th of December. Um, we've only got a few days left to finish off the um, Granny Flatfield. The electrician's in. Uh, just doing the last final fixes and I just left there with him thinking that there may be a fault somewhere in the wiring we are that close um, now he's he's on borrowed time helping us out to get in, in this sort of Christmas anyway he's literally had to shunt and move customers around so that he could come in and finish his project for us which we're really grateful for i mean jensen's a great bloke but we don't know if the fault is a wiring issue an equipment issue or if maybe one of the uh, plasterboard screws has actually touched the cable somewhere um, the only reason we found it was that one of the emergency lights was refusing to work properly um, and these LED emergency lights are quite sensitive apparently and because if the emergency light had been working properly and it kind of goes on and off sometimes it works okay and sometimes it doesn't we thought it was the light fitted if it hadn't been for that the fault would probably quite possibly remain undetected but um, now um, he's only got two days with us to get everything finished now, I really hope we haven't got to start making holes in the ceilings and stuff like that. I hope that bites so close. So close. Anyway, hopefully by the time I get back from taking Simon to Barclay, I will know where we are, what's going on, and fingers crossed it'll be good news that it was actually an equipment fault somewhere. Uh, we found it, we swapped it out, we changed it, whatever else, and it's not not a screw through a cable. I mean, I'd be surprised if it's a screw through a cable because I know when um, just the guys, I know when they were barking it and putting the plasterboard up, they literally drew in pencil lines everywhere where there was cables to make sure they wouldn't hit it. So it would be really unlucky, really unlucky. It was all going too well. Yeah. So what I might do, actually, if I take a picture of that, because yeah. I've got the same batch number as you. Yeah. And then, where, where did the? Have you not got the? Have you not got that on yours yet? No, because my because my job wasn't due till next Monday. Oh uh, right. And they said, well, you're here. You must have it. Yeah. Okay. But they obviously yeah. didn't have the barcode for me because it yeah. wasn't ready. You should. That should correlate with the one on your past. It, You've it, got the yeah. NHS thing yeah, on your so phone. Yeah, so it should come up on there, but that might not come out for a couple of days. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So at least we'll have it now. So. Yeah. Right. That, cool. make, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether you would actually need it. But, um, I don't know, like I say, I, I would imagine that within an hour, that'll be up on my NHS app, and it'll be on there anyway. 
yeah, it didn't help to be um, extra prepared. Then, does it? Didn't hurt. Sorry, yeah. to be extra prepared. Do I? Oh, you do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. He's a very, very nice man, don't you know? Yeah, yeah. He keeps Dexter cattle as well. Oh, does he? Because sometimes um, I pick the bull up from him, then when I, no, not he's finished with it, and sometimes I, no. <laughs> when he's finished with it. And then sometimes <laughs> I take the bull from me to him, because he hasn't got a trailer, so. Oh, right. So it's always Where me. is he? Uh, Barclay. Brett, where about? Uh, exit and car park. Exit, so exit that way. Is it somebody who was trying to say to me that, um, that the um, Talkworth estate was bigger than the Bartley estate. Oh, it could be, it's quite large. But I don't know if that includes. Oh, I don't know if well. that includes. Yeah, it's about 130 houses. Because um, on uh, Talkworth. I believe. know there's a guy that came into me in the place I used to work, and uh, uh, when he set up on his own, he was doing a lot of the um, cottages on the Barclay estate. But I didn't know that. What's sort of 130 houses there? Something like that, about 130 houses, I think. Someone said so that. The, those houses on Talkworth Strait, are those part of the Talkworth Estate? Or yes. They count, so they're not council houses? No, they're, that's Talkworth oh, right. Estate houses. Yeah, because if they get a wasp or something in, and they ring me up and I go and deal, do it for them. So. Oh, right. So they, they're all um, they're rented? Yeah. 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 I spent some of them, some of our staff and that, I spent some of the retired staff. Yeah, Keith, and, um, finger me, Bob, um, Tippett and uh, Jude Driscoll used to live in one of them. Yeah, I always did a wasp desk for them, um, twice I've been there to see them. But they still there? Uh, they were a year or so back, because uh, every time I go there, I, I end up yeah, going in for cups of tea. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, Keith used to, oh, he did make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this cat, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've been there a couple of times for that. Because it um, is impromptu, um, not impromptu, improvisation, jazz. Yeah, um, they used to go in the tavern a lot, yeah. you know, usually, but I don't know if they, they still do. I don't know. Apparently, in the to. year that she was, um, she had that hit with um, Wheels on Fire with. Uh, oh, God, who was she with? What was the name of the band? Jude Driscoll, Brian Orga Trinity. And, um, I wouldn't have got that. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I wouldn't have got that. That's why you're not uh, the music part of our quiz team. No. <laughs> <It's>, um, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> when I eventually make our quiz yeah, team. Yeah, it, does, uh, it, it uh, doesn't involve Shake Status Quo, Queen, or, or yeah, uh, Adam and the Ant or something, no. I wouldn't know it. So. Anyway, that that year, which was I think about 1970 or 1971, she was the person, she was in sort of plays and musicals and, and ever to choose like the, the hit it girl mm. at, that, at that time of the sort of hippie scene so when um you just think oh it's just one it wonder it was a bit more than that and the yeah. actual the actual time that it was but well, they're a fun couple oh i think they're brilliant yeah they're a fun he couple did, oh yeah honestly at least did um chats in down there and of course they of course they've just seen a bit done a bit haven't they so they've got something to talk yeah. about but um they're um i remember you talking about um it um there was, uh, I tell you what it was, it was that place that does the, um, the Falcon Reel. Oh, Tony? Totally. Yeah, Tony. Totally. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he was um, talking about um, uh, lambs or something about that, about them um, castrating them, putting the, oh, the, ring. the band yeah, the yeah. around. So I remember Keith saying, is that why the lambs are always skipping in the field? <laughs> 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 it's a sight. It's a sight, yeah. Ooh, ow, ooh. It's a sight, yeah. It's just like, no, but I was thinking, <laughs> it's a good point, I <laughs> did it make me skip that. Yeah, no, they tend to go and lie down in the uh, corner and just sort of shake the legs a little bit for yeah. 10 minutes and then they're okay. So. Yeah, it's, um, some but, it, some. but it's, uh, I remember him saying that, though. <laughs> spend a day in the yeah. spend a day in a life for Keith. Okay. Yeah. No, no, really nice. Um, it people. is. In the kitchen they got it, it's like you know, it's just like history. Really. There's so much stuff in there. Oh, it's right. like It's a properly old, oldy worldy like kitchen with just full of stuff. Kind of like pans hanging up everywhere. Yeah, it's like, like and it's like you know, it, it looks when you go in, it looks like you should expect it from back place inside. Like yeah, it was it was nice, but yeah. Twice I've been in there, so yeah. uh, it's um. I think I spent about an hour in there last time drinking tea and just putting the rod to rights. 
Oh um, yeah, the room. Uh, is, it, is, he still, is he still touring though? I don't, I don't know. I think he was still going. Because he did a lot in. Years. Oh my God, I mean, I suppose he is at the yeah. moment. But he did a lot in um, in the, uh, Eastern Europe, Russia. They were really, I'm surprised. They, they were really into it. So. Well, his politics are much further left than mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah mine, uh, mine are a bit blue compared to his yeah, one. So. Bit, uh, but that didn't matter. We we didn't we didn't really. It wasn't no. about politics. It was about people. Bolsheviks. Yeah. So he, uh, um, it's um, <coughs> back to the lambs again. Yeah, yeah. But it's, uh, it's he, uh, yeah, it's um, your door's open, mate. Was it? Yeah. yeah. I've only just noticed that the lights on. It's not on show. Can't quite get the pillage on there. Yeah. That's not. Yeah. That's just a bad foot. You did it though? <laughs> you didn't say it's in Patrick. I'll give you four out of ten. Well for it. Yeah, well, did, little did think of, yeah, a little good did, boy. Did, well, did think you managed yeah. that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Bad for a cripple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, My girls uh, accuse me of patronising sometimes, so, you know. Just, do they? Yeah, I've got oh. to practice on them. They uh, usually deserve it, mate. Yeah. They come in with, oh, well, was me about something, and it's like, oh, really? Oh, never mind. Oh, well, they still well with their cakes, mate, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, she's I mean, got um, um, loads of orders. They're, they're fantastic. So when she does these um, like intricate little things on the top, yeah, like you know when she did that one for I don't know it was a lad or somebody for the construction one, yeah, the digger. Does she make that digger? Oh, or is she is that that sort of like just she just iced something? Some uh, some and some some things she has. There are people who make those things. Because I was thinking, how on earth do you even start thinking about how to make a little sort of JCB yeah. digger out of a ice And sometimes she makes them herself, so it's kind of some and some. I think it depends a lot on how much time she's got and what folks are paying for it. Oh, right. So, oh, right. so if, someone, yeah. if someone wants something bespoke handmade, yeah. it takes a lot, lot longer. So, so what would she do? Would she like sort of um, to. Um, just send off to somebody, or you know, yeah, there are places you can send off to, and say, I want a yep. digger made out of ice in that's yep. six mil by, yeah, well, um, and, and they're, they're, they're probably molded, right? Yeah, yeah they're probably made, are they mold. probably got, yeah, they probably got a you, she put, did she pick them out like out of a, I don't know, but I then just, if you wanted a flower, she'd probably do it herself, wouldn't she? Probably, yeah. yeah. Obviously, if anyone's watching this, she does it all herself. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, no, she did, there are some, well, she's doing a lot more now, because, of course, even the signs and that now, she makes them herself, because she's got her own um, what? printer, her own cutout machine. Oh, right, yeah. So she does all that as well now. Yeah, she started, no, doing, she started um, doing mugs and stuff. No, and I was, so. um, I mean, she's always, been, she's always been sort of like, um, a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to it, cooking anyway, isn't she? But mm. it's, um, or baking, should I say. Um, well, I've just put a new table in her for her. She said, um, oh, right. Yeah. And uh, she, um, but uh, I've never failed to be impressed, like, you know, by um, mm. what was on there. I mean, so, of course, I don't like sweet things. Yeah, but, well, the thing uh, is, is, quite often I'm poison taster. Oh, she'll right. try something new and she'll go, she'll bring in, she go, try that. So if there's a boy out of somebody's birthday cake, then she's you have it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, because, uh, no, she, she does, if she's got not much on, she'll experiment with stuff. And then, because the lads, the builders have been experiment, no, trying out some experiments. Yeah. She had one in her What do you mean, experiment? Like, sort of she'll, she'll, mixing flavours together? Yeah, she'll just mix stuff together. Blue and stuff. That's the kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I delivered to his place in that grey. Yeah. Maiden, yeah. Went down there, I didn't know who he was. I haven't ever done the time. This was um, um, when first sort of that sort of culture started out. Anyway, I went down there and I thought, where are all these Ferraris and Lamborghinis outside this um, this pub? Yeah. Like, you know, and um, anyway, I went in, like I said, I've got these, um, I think, storage boxes for him, actually. Yeah. Uh, for the um, shelving. And uh, I thought I saw these blokes like really sort of like smart seats in there. We've seen a bit over lunchtime, and I thought it's a bit odd, isn't it? Like you know, is this this place? I think yeah, I think it's Bray called Bray. Yeah. Just off of um, no, which one's um, made sense, Ken? Then it's made there, but it's Berkshire, uh, made there. And um, anyway, they said, um, oh, I think it's all going over to the lab over the road. I was still none the wiser. I just didn't know anything about it. Yeah. Anyway, I um. When I came back, I was in a, I was chatting to somebody about the, uh, a few nights later, when I was back in um, 
uh, to Little Wood. And uh, it said, like, yeah, this group was just really strange place. Like, and I went, oh no, it's like that. So, this was, um, so then, then, as it transpired, that um, as the group were told, this is a big experiment, cook and that. Yeah. Uh, and this, that, and the other. I didn't really have no idea that I was like trying to deliver in the middle of some, like, you know, like millionaire's paradise somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Playground. Uh, yeah, they probably paid thousands of pounds for this lunch. There's me going in there. Excuse, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like. I want to drop this far. Yeah. Yeah. But um. Over there. Oh look, look, baby, this is a peasant. And our next door neighbour was going. Next door neighbour was going mad about the park here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah and, um. And she was sort of going this side, the other, and I was just like, and um, because I was in a, uh, I was in late tunnel, so uh, it um. I don't think you've got a bit bigger down there because of the bridge, I think, because I remember right there. Um, it, um, but then the, the, what they called the lab was um, opposite, but that was where they, they did all his experiments. Oh, right. And this, that, and the other. And it's, um, it's like a witch's cauldron in there. I have no uh, toad and frog. Yeah, well, again, like it was all sort of over my head, like, yeah. because I didn't realise what was going on. I didn't realise that he was this, this was back, I mean, this was back sort of, um, I must have been early two, 2000, so, you know, yeah. when, when sort of everything was all blowing up like that, you know. It was probably a really big scene in and around mm. London, and uh, that sort of you know, circle. Uh, probably, if you read the right magazine, it's probably in, it was all in there as well, but... Um, yeah. Not in the Farmer's Weekly, then. <laughs> Not in the lorry driver. From, <laughs> lorry driver from Leafy Gloucestershire. No. <laughs> it's just like... Uh, yes, then when I get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't care how much you pay. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's, um... I don't think it would have made any difference if I'd known who he was anyway, to be honest with you. No. I'd still, uh, I'd still just want to get stuff off and get gone. Still um, human, the same as the rest of us. Yeah, well, um, I might have been, I might not have been quite so confused as to why there was all these blood millions of pounds worth of cards yeah. down there, but it's, um, well, you imagine what it's like though, isn't it? Probably people don't run their Ferraris every day, but because they're going out to lunch and yeah. uh, something or other, like, yeah, 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 you know, take that far. Yeah. Be honest with you, I would have yeah. been. We'll position. take the video today, darling. We'll yeah. take the Aston, yeah. okay? Let's get the Ferrari out. I haven't started for days. Yeah. <laughs> Weeks even. Well, well, I even said to about um, petrol in a day. So like, well, what are they going to do then? They're just going to get rid of it completely. I said, no, what, what will happen is it will be. Um, You'll still be able to get hold of it, but it'd be like that stuff we got for the lawnmower, that. Um, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Um, but it will be really expensive, so you can use it to run your classic car on the weekend, um, but to run it day to day, it'd just be yeah, astronomical. Not sorry. But, uh, so if you run a, a normal engine, like, you know, like a car engine on Aspen or another type of artificial fuel, would it burn cleaner, but it's just going to cost you the earth? Probably. Or would it not? Yeah, or, I think, I think Aspen is more because it just lasts longer, like petrol goes stale. Yeah. So after two weeks out of the pump, yeah. but petrol will actually we, start to go we, stale. We've, we've had motorbikes and cars stood up for years and they just started Yeah, well, don't forget them. the old days, there was... I know they, they, had, they, they had lead in it, which helped. Oh, uh, yeah, they had a lot more. Yeah, so, they um, so they took lead out of it, and then they added... Um, bloody um, plant abstracts for it to, um, you know, make it a bit more green and a bit less harmless to the environment. Oh, so was you're, the... You're going to have to stop, mate, because I'm coming through. Yeah, so yeah. was the petrol... I know it's higher octane because of the compression ratios and everything, but um, was the octane, the, the petrol used, like the Max R2 that you... Um, yeah. Uh, I bought a few that you um, rebuilt. Was, yeah. that, was that a lot higher... With that, the, with the petrol that we were using then, last a lot longer than the petrol nowadays. Mm. I don't know the way I drove it. No petrol lasted. Well, no, I know because <laughs> <laughs> it was usually flat too out quick, and yeah. as close to the red line as I could too get quick, it. Yeah, two, two pounds. Yeah, yeah. We, do. we won't discuss too much about yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> In our younger days. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, How fast are you going? Fast as I can. Yeah, got through there at 90. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. 90 what? And, yeah. uh, I think I think Manor Show Benz was 84 according to. I don't know who was looking at. I was looking. wasn't looking at the speedo. I was no, no, I was behind you. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I think uh, Phil Wilson was in the back, and all I could hear was F and L, F and L, F and L. I was in. Um, <laughs> I think I was in uh, Junior actually. I was what, say in, the, that. in the G in the little, little the um, Super Sport. The, that, that, was a, that was Super a lovely Sport. little car. That yeah, was. I think I was in. I think I was in that. Is it? Oh, it might have been my um, Mark II. Yeah. But um, if only we knew. Then what we know now. Well, we had decent suspension for a start. Yeah. But, um, above and above and beyond the normal. So no, no, I would never uh, have sold them. I'd have kept them. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Where would you put them though? Yeah. yeah, yeah that Uncle time. Jackson, then they put them in the yeah, barn. Yeah. 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 It's, um, I suppose I wanted the money to buy them next time. Yeah. Time, that's so. it. You know, you don't think like that, do you? Like, you know, would fast you, anymore. Would you have kept your um? Who's it said that one of those Nokia? What are the thirty three tens? Oh yeah. They said, why do they have a case on them? And so many, you know, because they were so solid. So we said to protect the floor. <laughs> <laughs> right, one brother-in-law, Julie, delivered, jabbed, collected, and delivered home again. So I'm probably going to get into trouble when I get home because um, while I was there, as you probably already gathered. I had my job too. They said, have you had your booster? And I said, no, I'm booked in to come in on Monday. Do you want it now? You're here. Okay, can do. The only thing is, one of the reasons I'm booked in for Monday is because Monday was the only day Julie could really come in and have hers. So she booked us to come in and have it together. But here's my thinking. Here's my logic behind it. When I have my second um, jab, which was AstraZeneca. My first, uh, my first jab was AstraZeneca, and I had no reaction at all, nothing. My second AstraZeneca, um, that night I had the shivers. Um, didn't feel at all well the next day. Um, just, just didn't feel well. So, this today is the Pfizer. Um, jab which is uh, my booster I I'm not anticipating any um, reaction or symptoms or whatever else of unpleasantness but you never know and the way I look at it is if if I'm poorly tomorrow from the booster it's only one of us it's only me that's poorly tomorrow um, if we had it would taste my tongue if we had both of our jabs at the same time and we were both poorly and bearing in mind by next Monday my mother-in-law should be touch wood, the electrical thing is sorted out should be moved in it makes sense to me to have our jabs a few days apart that's, that's my argument of why I decided to have it done today I think it makes sense Where have they all gone? Right. I've come back and there's nobody here. But we've got bits hanging down from the ceiling there. Bits hanging down from the ceiling there. Obviously the fuse box is open, so I was going to show you that before how neat that is. He does make a neat job, and we've got bits hanging down, so I presume he's testing everything, trying to work out where the fault is. And he's not here, so I'm kind of hoping he's found it, and he's gone to get a thing, sorry, thing, to fix it. Hoping. So, anyway, um, yeah, I'm assuming this is off. Yeah, no power. So, uh, blinds are up. That's that done. This is a natty one. Look at that. Saw it. No peeping toms for her. Ah, yeah. We are almost done. 
Her new Royce Recline chair has turned up, that's here. I was going to build her TV stand this afternoon, but I might just hold off on that until Jensen's done because at the moment it's in the box out of the way. Um, there's no point in building stuff until I have. To... What? What was that? Did you say something? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. It's 2.28. Uh, I've got a bag of logs to get delivered. I might see if I can get one of the guys to do that actually while I find out what's going on here. I've let you and Gwen and my, and my Land Rover in Wilf. When he finds the gearbox, then it's over. I did tell him, don't break it. <laughs> it's where the workshop to find Martin just finishing off fixing the pole saw that he obviously broke. I was probably not supposed to know that he broke it, but anyway, he got the spare part and he's fixed that. Uh, we're off to Charfield, doing a good look at a job, just as soon as I've checked with the customer that she's actually there. There's no point in me going if she ain't there. Claire.